Hello and welcome back to another smashing episode of Innocence for Nonsense. Today we are going to talk about sports corruption has been found. Now recently, Europol, the European front of Interpol, has released a statement that they have discovered a criminal organization which is responsible for rigging 380 pro football matches in five years in 15 countries. 425 people have been identified and they are composed of players, referees, trainers and various criminals. The corrupt bookies are mostly located in Asia and specifically in Singapore. This year alone, two games, which were in the Champions League, were rigged and one of those games was played in England. Now, I'm against this corruption because it threatens the survival of a game that I love, of a sport that I love, which is football. And even if you don't like football, it doesn't matter because there is a good chance that your favorite sport is corrupted as well. We mustn't be naive about this because wherever there is sports betting, there is a good chance of corruption, whether it's tennis, American football, and even golf. And I hate this because then the result of a game is determined on the forehand. And this makes it as fake as wrestling. Even though as a kid, I used to love wrestling before I found out it was fake. My favorite wrestler was Yokozuna. But I don't watch a wa want to watch a fake football game. And I hope that these 425 people will be dealt with severely. So how can we stop this corruption? The justice system can keep doing what it's doing over a certain time span. After that time span is finished, if the corruption still exists, then we have to ban sports betting, even though it's a multi-billion dollar business. But I don't care because I don't gamble because I've heard too many stories of people losing everything they owned due to gambling and sports betting, and it's been corrupted. Cheating is a good thing. Cheating is good for you. My stepdad always said to me, doesn't matter how you get there, as long as you get there. But what I say is that if it causes a negative effect on people, then it is bad. Listeners, do you think that your sport is corrupted? And do you ever gamble? Do you agree with gambling? Or do you think it should be banned? And do you believe that this corruption can be combated? And how can it be combated? Listeners, thank you for listening. So until next time, keep it on the table.